we have uh, arrived back from Arcadia. And, um, yeah, we're gonna... We're back in Stark, so I figure after talking to Raul and no one seems to have any idea where Cortez is, uh, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> because it's been a while. And people are probably wondering I where really the hell I went. I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. Well, that too. Okay. So, moving on. Nothing really changes, it seems. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. Oh. I said move! Okay, that's not good. Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on. Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. This guy is kind of almost mumbling. I think he's what going for the quiet. Do I know you? You know, deadly. I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? Uh -oh. He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course. We were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier, but then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. Oh, Lord. What do you want from me? We want you. And what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Oh, man. Good job on our friend Mr. Clax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and respected that. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable the with water, and so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say... This guy's just getting on my nerves with this I am certain you brought tone. some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I go on a little trip. Man. This is a difficult choice. Um... There's nothing I have that you could possibly want. Leave that decision to me, Miss Ryan. Just hand it all over, and we can let these fine people return to their pathetic little lives. 
You have caused them enough pain. This guy's trying to be yes. very much like a but first we incredibly powerful still overlord need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Um Emma! Holy What the oh, hell shit. is going on? Who the hell is that? Mickey? It's Zack. Get out of my way, Zack! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma. Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But... But they said... They said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were just gonna... They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No! I mean, they were just gonna arrest you and... You bastard! You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I... I didn't... Oh, Jesus. Zack, are you... Shit! Uh, now it'd be good to run. Open up. Um, there's only one way out here. Down the door. No, don't close. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Take it down. Oh, red arrow. Oh, God, this is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April. Down she goes. Okay, is there a way out over here? He's gonna fucking see if I walk out. I ever looked on my inventory. Oh shit! Somebody's watching the entrance. There's no way I'm getting by without him seeing me. But there's no other way out of here either. Um. Ah. Uh, well. There's that. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Nah, probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? <laughs> oh, let's get the hell out of here. I got my body back. That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, I don't want to think about what would have happened. Okay, well, we gotta get the hell out of here. go. Ok. 
Academy's bigger, so oh god damn it. I can't risk sneaking by with that agent around. Okay, so we're going to the I guess we're going to the cafe. That it's the only place left to go. That's not good. Um. What's that? The mystery door. It's open. What the hell is in there? The mystery door finally served a purpose. What? This is the old lady that's telling us the story. I'm guessing pretty sure, actually. I'm not in Venice anymore. Now I know how Alice and Dorothy felt. Um. Warm and cozy. Moby Dick, Oliver Twist, The World According to Garb, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, The Holy Bible. Um. Sure. This is strange. Welcome. April Ryan. Well? I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Elvane is my name now. The Lady Elvane. Where am I? What's this place? This is my home. The house of all worlds. This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. Similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. Okay. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers, for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers, and your journey continues. It's been written, and we cannot change that now. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help, but I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today, and... She's not dead. What? Uh, what did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others, Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and for not letting them in on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many, and you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... on you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help This woman you. knows a lot. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria. 
to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... this talent, but it's not true. If I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. Hmm. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best, to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive. But they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Alvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh... I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain. Huh. A strange ending to that chapter. Well, we're back. A little empty. It's deserted, and from the looks of the place, I'd say they left in a hurry, too. Alright, so it's does that mean I can't go in? I guess it means I can't go in. Um. Actually. I'm going to go find Tobias. The doors are locked and bolted. I guess the Sentinel oh, have decided to skip town with the rest of the population. Yeah, there's like nobody here. Should steal some maps. Let's see Obnoxious, maybe he's still here. Enter, honored guest. Oh, and I would have been still here. with you presently. I'm glad to see you're okay, Obnoxus. Should I not have been okay, April Ryan? I wasn't sure. Everybody else has left town. Yes, most everyone did. A war is hmm. coming. Shouldn't you be leaving too, then? I am, after I see you again. You shouldn't be putting yourself in danger for my sake, Obnoxus. He can see all then, times. for the sake He's... of the balance, you will find three stones, yes? I did, yeah. Just missing one now. Here, this was the stone of the Venar entrusted um, to me. 
I was to take this to Mercuria and there hold embassy until the Kanang La will come to take it from me. You know, you could have given this to me first. You had this the whole time? Why didn't you tell me before? To have been carrying this on your journey will be too risky, April Ryan. You have it now. Four stones to make one. Now my task is done, and the veil is upon me. There is, is only the, the present and the past now. Only those two, not the future. The veil is upon us all, April Ryan. I must leave for my people to be with them in this time of darkness. Thank you for your help, Obnaxus. I will miss you. And I you, April Ryan. May the balance bless you. May the balance bless and protect us all. Okay. A very strange person. Alrighty. Well, I've got the stones now. Let's see if Brian Westhouse is here. Holy shit, he is. There he is. I figured you'd still be here, Brian. April bloody rye. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's it's good to see you, girl. <laughs> now get the hell out of Mercuria before the shit hits the fan. <laughs> I I kind of like Brian. You're not leaving, are you, Mr. Westhouse? I I guess I'm not. I always was an idiot. <laughs> you're not an idiot, Mr. Westhouse. Brian, you're just fighting for something you believe in, something you care about. I uh. don't care a whittle about this bloody town. I think you do. I think you care a lot, but you hate to admit it. Yeah, well... I built this house with my own two hands, you know. First thing I ever did that I was proud of. Real proud of. I ain't about to leave it to those damn tyrant trolls waltzing in here under the pretense of defending their borders. It's the vanguard holding their leash, be sure of that. Yeah, what are you gonna do when they get here? Hmm? I got an old gun locked up in the pantry. Enough bullets to take down at least mm, two dozen of those goblins. <laughs> I'm going down fighting, that's for sure. You'll be fine, I'm sure of that. Just leave the bottle be until the victory party, okay? Ah, uh, <clears throat> don't worry about that, girl. That's my last batch of real whiskey. All I got left now is bloody Markurian wine. <laughs> and believe me, you don't want to get drunk on that. Life without whiskey. <laughs> I believe you. Just take care of yourself, Brian. Take real good care. And you, Miss Ryan. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. Huh. And if you ever come Same back Lady this Yvonne way... I promise to visit you, of course. Goodbye, Brian. Leave him on his porch. Waiting for death. So is, uh, Duder here? Where is he? Hey, there he is! So you're still here? Eh? Oh, it's just you. 
If you have come to use the library, I I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We're all very busy today. Very busy indeed. Yeah, what with Don't worry, hordes I didn't wars. come by to do any reading today. Good. With the Tyrant army approaching, we don't have much time. Is Vestrum Tobias around? Oh, goodness. You do not know? Oh, man. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tobias, he's dead. Murdered. No, by whom? We don't know, but we suspect Vanguard agents, of course. In the chaos of the evacuation, the soldiers had their hands full, making sure no one was trampled, and that looters were promptly apprehended. When we visited the temple after everyone had left, there were so many books and valuable artifacts we wanted to bring here uh, for safekeeping. We found Tobias by the mules he loved so dearly. Oh, man. He'd been stabbed in the heart. And from the looks of it, he didn't resist much at all. He probably even knew his assailant. Why, Tobias? He was the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. Always helpful, always ready to listen. I'll really miss him. So will all of us. He was a great man. And a great Vestrum. And we will never see another like him. But unfortunately, there were many who disagreed with his views. And the Vanguard... Well, they would be happy to see the end of him for good. Another reason for doing everything we can to stop them. Shouldn't you be leaving the city? Leaving? No, I'm staying here with my fellow Minstrom. The Enclave is our life and our home. And we're not letting the Vanguard and the Tyrant army drive us away. But we will defend ourselves. With what? Books? We may look harmless, but don't judge a book by its cover. There are many of us who are skilled at magic. I can throw a pretty mean ball of fire myself. We even have swords and bows. And a few of us are well versed with deadly weaponry. So we won't be easily defeated, trust me. Good luck. And to you, the same. All right. So, Markarian crisis. Shit has really gone sour. Uh, I guess we'll pick it up next time.